Hey guys, I want to introduce you to my newest motor. It's a 2207 2500 kV, but it's actually rated at a 2580 kV. This is a nasty, nasty freestyle motor. It's got the top end speed, but it still has the low end torque to pull out of those big dives. And uh, let's put it on the scale here. And at 30 grams, it's an unbelievable motor. Um, there's 2205 motors out there that weigh more than 30 grams and most of the 2207s on the market weigh 35 grams like the Tiger F60s so this is a super nice motor it's got the N52 magnets and I also had them put in custom EZO bearings which is makes this motor pretty damn sick so anyway, here's my uh, 2207 2400 kV motor. This thing has a little less uh, top end and a little more low end torque. This thing's pretty nasty on a 5S. On 4S it produces 1409 grams of thrust at 32 amps. And on 5S it makes 1783 grams of thrust at 40 amps. So you gain quite a bit of power going to 5S and 4S. I've been flying 5S for about two years now, and it's my battery of choice. You uh, gain a little bit of weight, but the power is about 15% more, so there's huge gains. As long as you have a somewhat light frame and stuff, and you stay in that magic freestyle weight of 550 to 620, you're golden. Anyway, these are my batteries. Nice, tight. Really happy with these things. So far, I'm about 50 cycles in and no uh, bad cells or anything, so I'm pretty impressed. So, this battery here, let's weigh it here. It weighs 190 grams. So, it's not too bad considering all the power that you get going to 5S. And uh, I'd like to say another thing about 5S is um, it's somewhat efficient because you're going so fast at half throttle but you're using a lot less amps so it becomes you know efficient where you lose the efficiency is when you crank up that throttle and you climb out like a banshee but it's well worth it I'm getting two full minutes flying this pack and if I just fly real mellow I could get three minutes but I usually fly pretty wild because the thrust on the 5S is just insane and it's hard to stay off the throttle and uh, this is my uh, MB229. Uh, I'm running the 2500 kVs on this beast. And I got uh, testing out these TPU motor mounts just to keep every bit of uh, noise out of the gyro. Now, I could fly and get perfect film without them, but I'm just trying to eliminate everything because the less noise the flight controller sees, the better flying characteristics. And uh, I'm flying race flight on beta build 400 and seems to be rocking pretty well. I like the Dahl V2s for these motors because they're so torquey and speedy. I needed a little bit stiffer prop and stuff, but i um, really happy with this setup. Um, Brian made me this uh, 3D print for the, for the GoPro there. And so far, I'm loving it. I'll put a link up to a store so those that own the MB Epic could purchase it. I'm flying a 2.5 lens Foxy Air camera on here. Some people go, isn't it weird to fly with the FBV camera up top? And I tell them no, because when this thing's in uh, fast forward flight, it basically becomes the center of the uh, chassis. So you basically hit the gates easier and, and tree gaps and that kind of thing. So. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions, just uh, leave a comment in the YouTube and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.